My country, Pakistan, for example, has now been for nearly eight years in a constant state of floods and a constant state of drought and a constant state of heat waves. Now, no one is suggesting this is simply because of climate change. That's not how the fingerprint on the trigger works. What climate does is it exacerbates regular processes, but then creates a new normal. And I believe all across South, South Asia, there is a new normal that is water defined, that is sometimes water scarcity defined, that is very often water intensity defined, but that is everywhere exacerbated by the forces of climate, uh, climate change and is everywhere showing itself in the lives of real people in the form of water. A very clear sense has to really emerge that we are now living in the age of adaptation. Now, this may seem a trivial matter, but it's not because, frankly, I think the culprit here are people who work on climate change. And many of us, unfortunately, are still talking about as if the age of adaptation is something in the future. No, it is not. The age of adaptation is here. It is here today. It is happening now. Yes, mitigation is important to reduce future impact. But now we are condemned to live with impact. So climate where it meets real people and real impacts really turns into issues of water. And that, I think, is where in your practice world, climate starts impacting how we live, what we do, uh, how we do it. The poor shall pay. The poor always do. That's the world we need to change. But I don't think we're going to change it very soon. So let's at least realize the reality that here is an issue that is exacerbated by the, the equity issue is very, very important. It is exacerbated not just by rich country, poor country, but by rich people, poor people. By this, by this great differential, not just in consumption, but in the footprint that you and I leave on planet Earth, which is far more dangerous and which has real impacts on the lives of the poorest people who do not leave that footprint uh, and, and, and whose life is going to be impacted. Here is, here is what I mean by it. Climate eventually is a development issue and we need to humanize the impacts of climate change, what it means to ordinary people. We have to humanize the real pain and the real misery and most importantly, the real insecurity that climate change causes. We have to talk about climate change in the language of insecurity. We have to talk about climate change in the language of vulnerability. We have to talk about climate change in the language of poverty. And we really have to talk about climate change as an issue of justice, of development justice around the world. And that, I think, is the real tragedy of climate change that until we bring it from just being about carbon management, until we turn it from something about carbon management to something about human security, to human well-being, to development justice, we shall not be doing justice to the issue of climate change. Thank you very much.